Atlantean City is dropping next week and you must know these five things that I'm about to show you. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so on April 29th, Lando went onto Twitter and he mentioned that Atlantean City is going to be releasing on May 20th. That is exactly 10 days from today. It's not a Friday, which is super cool. And with the release of Atlantean City, there's a couple of information that you must have forgotten because, you know, it's been quite a long time since we originally heard from Atlantean City. Just so you guys know, we first heard of Atlantean City on December of 2020. For reference, that was a year when the pandemic started. So basically, pretty, pretty long time. But basically, since then, there has been some information or things have happened that is very important for you guys to know for when Atlantean City comes out. In this video, we'll be talking about five things. Lumions, a secret bunker, some places, the geysers, and number five is a secret. I'll be saying it at the end. So first things first, Atlantean City will of course be released with a ton of new Lumions. Three of the Lumions that we know that are becoming out with Atlantean City is the Axlaol, Ketone, and Starla. I guess we don't really know Starla's name, which is sort of awkward because we've known this Lumion since December of 2020, yet we don't know its name. So I'm really interested to see if people are actually going to be able to call Starla its actual name rather than Starla. I know back in the day when Starla was originally announced, some theories existed that Starla is going to be a new roaming. I highly doubt that now, but low-key, it wouldn't be that bad if we were to see Starla as the roaming. In regards to the Axolotl and Ketone, I made a video covering these two Lumions, but basically they're very cool. I feel like the Axolotl Lumion could be dragon slash water type and Ketone, we know it's typeless. However, it's quite interesting though because this is the third typeless music related Lumion that we have in game. And I don't know, I find it funny that every if not most of the typeless Lumions that exist in Lumion Legacy are music related. Moving on, we have the bunker, Dance Secret Bunker. I really do hope that Lumion Legacy did not forget about this, but basically let me talk to you a little bit about this place. Back in June of 2021, so 11 months ago, I went onto YouTube with Lumion Legacy developer Our Hero, and he basically streamed some Lumion Legacy development. In the stream, he was working on the interiors of places, and in one of the places, he actually made a secret bunker for my friend Dan. And as you can see right now on the screen, Our Hero is working on the Dan bunker. So ultimately, I do really hope that when Athenian City comes out, we're going to be able to find the Dan secret bunker, and that this bunker will actually remain in game for the release of Athenian City, because honestly, this will be pretty, pretty cool. As a matter of fact, as you're seeing on the screen right now, there seems to be a Lumi crate inside of this place, and I wonder what that Lumi crate is going to be given. Moving on, let's talk about the places. There are three places that we know that are going to be released with Indian City. Number one, the mansion. This is, I'm assuming, Mr. Farrick's mansion. Of course, it's not confirmed, but I guess it's pretty obvious that this is Mr. Farrick's mansion. Here are some pictures of the exterior of the mansion, and here are some pictures of the interior of the mansion. Of course, this is not the final product. I'm quite sure that this has changed. Nonetheless, it's pretty cool to see how the interior of the mansion sort of like, I guess, looks. The second place that we know that's going to be coming out is the arcade. And this is actually pretty, pretty cool. As you can see, here's a picture that Land leaked of the arcade. And I am so down to go to this place and spend like hours and hours in playing the arcade. I remember back in the Pokemon Break Bronze Arcade that you could have bought a Ditto in the arcade. So I really wonder if Lumion Legacy is finally releasing a Ditto related Lumion in the game with the arcade. I really do hope that happens. Other than the arcade, we have the battle theater. Of course, it's a water battle theater. Imagine that it's going to be a fire battle theater. I, that would be like very funny. Regardless, this is how the exterior of the battle theater looks and this is how the interior of the Barrett Theater looks, and that's pretty cool. And finally, I am not 100% sure that this is a place, however, I still want to cover it. Basically, these are the ruins that we saw in the poster, and when I covered a video talking about the ruins, I basically theorized that the new Roaming Lumion Legacy will be found in these ruins if the ruins were to actually be a place in Atlantean City when it comes out. Moving on to the fourth thing that I want to talk in this video are the geysers. So, with the release of Atlantean City, the geysers are finally going to be able to work, because with the beach update, we realized that one geyser will actually lead to the next route, which means that when Atlantean City comes out, these geysers that have been in game for almost three years will finally be working. As you can see, currently there are four geysers, the one in Route 2, the one in Gale Forest, the one in Igneous Hollows, and the one in Lotus on Beach. However, do know that it is possible that these geysers may actually not work with the release of Atlantic City Part 1. If that's the case, they will work with the release of Atlantic City Part 2 though. So, so far we've covered Lumions, the Secret Bunker, the Places, and the Geyser. Now I want to talk about the fifth and the last thing for this video. The fifth thing that you should know about Atlantic City is that Atlantic City is underwater. Water. But yeah, guys, that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Armenti, you're amazing, and we lit.